Hi everyone, today I thought I'd introduce you to a tool called Exorcism. So my husband's learning to code and he's found this tool quite helpful with practicing different coding exercises. You've got different languages that you can learn and you can scroll through and select them. And then when you select them, you, you sort of enroll in that track and you can sort of work towards completing different exercises in them. So my husband's learning C Sharp, so we've enrolled in that track. This is my personal account, um, but yeah, you can sort of see the different tracks you're doing. If you're more experienced, you can opt to mentor people. So that's just basically helping others learn. Um, it's a good way to commu uh, contribute back to the community. And you can sort of go into your tracks and see where you are and see all the different exercises available to you. I'm just at the start of this because I just wanted to show you guys. Um, but basically, you unlock different exercises. I've only got one available at the moment, which is this Lucian's Luscious Lasagna task. When you go into it, it will tell you a little bit about what you're trying to achieve with the exercise. And you can actually work with exorcism locally or in the browser. Um, my husband likes how you can work with it in the browser because... He only has a work computer, so he isn't able to install anything on it. So basically, what this is doing is it gives you some tasks to achieve. So the first task is just defining the expected oven time in minutes, and it tells you that it wants a method that doesn't take any parameters and returns how many minutes the lasagna should be in the oven, which is 40 in this case. So just, a, just giving you a really basic example of how to define a method that does very limited things, but um, it's sort of just getting you used to the C-sharp language syntax. The rest of the exercise is very similar. So we've got exercises like calculating the preparation time for a lasagna, calculating the remaining min minutes in the oven, and calculating the elapsed time in minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how to complete all of these um, and then once you've completed them you click run tests and it'll run through um, different scenarios. Basically it's kind of um, cool because it's sort of it's kind of like test driven development and that there's all these test cases that you need to make your code conform to. And um, yeah, when you're finished, you run your code and it'll give you any errors that might be encountered. You can also see the different um, test scenarios that they have. So if you're having issues, um, figuring out an issue with your code or a bug in your code, you can actually run the, um, look at the test that's failing, sort of see what the inputs are and sort of step through and see why you're getting a different output to what was expected. Um, one thing that I have noticed in some questions is it's not immediately clear what the task is asking for, like it can take a bit of um, figuring out. Um, so, so that's one time when the tests are also particularly useful to help you figure out what the question is asking. Um, and you can also just do some debugging by doing some console write lines and it will output that for you. So that's basically how you'd debug it locally um, while, while working on the website. It also sort of will link you to any useful um, Microsoft documentation pages that might help you along the way. So like my husband was working on some link exercises the other day and it link, linked him to that website so he could read about what link is and um, a bit of documentation on it. And so it sort of takes you to good resources to use because, you know, when you're on the internet, there are a lot of um, resources that may not necessarily be the best. So finally, I'm working on this elapsed minutes um, method and basically what that one does is it takes a number of layers 
takes in the amount of time you've had the lasagna in the oven and it basically uses that preparation time in minutes to calc um, and the layers that you've passed in to calculate the total time that the um, lasagna has been prepared plus in the oven for. So cool, once you've got everything um, completed, you can run the tests and it'll go ahead and run the tests. It tells you whether all tests passed or not, and you can dig a bit deeper into each test and sort of see a bit more about what it was expecting and what the actual result was, if they were different. Um, but yeah, it just gives you an idea of what it's testing for. And when you're done, you can actually go ahead and submit your exercise um, and you can even make it available to other users so other users might use your exercise to sort of improve on what they've done so yeah I've, once I click submit or go ahead and process it and then you've got the option to mark your exercise as complete and share your solution with the community it is actually quite good to share the solution with your community because when you do that, it actually ends up um, on your profile so that you can sort of share with um, maybe a recruiter if you're sort of looking to get into development and you don't have like any formal experience, you can sort of show that you have been working through and completing tasks and sort of give an idea of what your thinking's like. Um, yeah, and if you look at this, it sort of shows you all the different concepts that um, you're able to explore in C Sharp and clicking on one will give you a bit more detail on what each of these means. Yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this video today. If you have, please like and subscribe for more content.